in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all let's all pause for a while my dear brothers and sisters god has called us to godliness for those times where we responded to others with wickedness rather than with goodness let's ask pardon from the almighty god i confess to almighty god and to you my brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore i ask the blessed mary ever virgin all the angels and saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life lord have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy let us pray oh god whose providence never fails in its design keep from us we humbly beseech you all that might harm us and grant that that and grant all that works for our good grant us through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever first reading a reading from the second letter of peter chapter 1 verses 2 to 7 may grace and peace be yours in abundance in the knowledge of god and of jesus our lord his divine power has given us everything needed for life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness thus he has given us through these things is precious and very great promises so that through them you may escape from the corruption that is in the world because of lust and may become participants of the divine nature for this very reason you must make every effort to support your faith with goodness and goodness with knowledge and knowledge with self control and self control with endurance and endurance with godliness and godliness with mutual affection and mutual affection with love the word of the lord psalm 91 on page 633 is to the lord my god in whom i trust for he will deliver when they call to me i will answer them i will be with them in trouble i will rescue them and honor them with long life i will satisfy them and show them my salvation kindly stand for gospel explanation
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Gospel according to Saint Mark, chapter 12, verses 1 to 12. Jesus began to speak to them in parables. A man planted a vineyard and set a hedge around it and dug a pit for the wine press and built a tower and let it out to tenants and went into another country. When the time came, he sent a servant to the tenants to get from them some of the fruit of the vineyard. And they took him and beat him and sent him away empty-handed. And again he sent to them another servant and they treated him shamefully. They wounded him in the head and treated him shamefully. And he sent another and him they killed. And so with many others, some they beat and some they killed. He had still one another, one other, a beloved son. Finally, he sent him to them, saying, They will respect my son. But those tenants said to one another, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him, and the inheritance will be ours. And they took him and killed him and cast him out of the vineyard. What will the owner of the vineyard do? He will come and destroy the tenants and give the vineyard to others. Have you not read this in the scripture? The very stone which the builders rejected has become the head of the corner. This was the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our eyes. And they tried to arrest him but feared the multitude for they perceived that he had told the parable against them. So they left him and went away. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, The master in the gospel reading, the master in the gospel reading, and the parable is termed as the parable of the wicked tenants. And there the master, he prepared everything, the vineyard, he prepared everything, made arrangements for everything, and just gave it, handed it over to the tenants to take care of it, to take care of it. And... Uh, if you reflect, my dear brothers and sisters, connecting to the gospel reading, God created everything in the universe. He created everything and gave it to man, handed it over to man to take care of it. The universe, the earth, everything in the creation. He created everything and gave it to man. And my dear brothers and sisters, like those wicked tenants, are we taking care of this earth or are we destroying it? First thing to remember, to reflect, my dear brothers and sisters. And secondly, through the sacrament of marriage, God has joined a man and a woman to come together in the sacrament of marriage. And God gave them, after joining them, God gave them the responsibility of taking care of their family, their children taking care of their family. And as husband, as father and mother, are they taking care of the family, the responsibility? And uh, secondly, my dear brothers and sisters, let's look at this gospel reading in, in a different way, in a different way. And um, how I want you to look at it is, uh, suppose if those wicked tenants would have responded to the master positively, now in the gospel reading we heard the wicked tenants, they responded to him, so to say, negatively. The master sent the servants to get some fruits and they beat him and some they killed. But if those, wicked, those 
tenants, if they would have responded positively, responded to the master, sending some fruits to the master, the parable would have ended in a different way. And it's, it's, the parable is actually about history, what happened in history. The history would have been different and um, there would have no need for God to send Jesus if people would have responded in positive way to God. And because man responded in, in because, because man responded in wickedness to the prophets, to the judges, to the kings, and ultimately to Jesus, and that's why the history ended that way. My dear brothers and sisters, the point to remember is to practice one simple formula to practice one simple formula, and that is, let's respond to wickedness with goodness. Let's respond to wickedness with goodness, and continue, continue, continuation of the point is, continuation of the formula, let's respond goodness with goodness, not with wickedness. Let's respond wickedness with goodness, and let's respond to goodness with goodness, not with wickedness. And then everything will be okay. Let's all pause for a while. Let's look into our own lives, my dear brothers and sisters. We may be experiencing various situations, circumstances, and we have a lot of options how we respond. And today let's remember, basing on the gospel reading, to respond, to tackle goodness with goodness and wickedness with goodness, not with wickedness. During this Mass, let us pray for the grace of God that we may respond to each other in a positive way. Amen. Let us pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good anger of all his holy church. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Grant this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, 
Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. For though He was in the form of God, He emptied Himself, and by the blood of His cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore, He has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey Him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith Christ is risen, Christ will come. Yes, Christ is done, Christ is risen, Christ will come. Again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Thumma Bala, Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, especially Rajaya, Annamma, and all the souls in purgatory, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
Save his command and formed by divine teaching, let us together pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. That you should have done the virus, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. And 
Govern by your spirit, we pray, O Lord, those you feed with the body and blood of your Son, that professing you not just in word or in speech, but also in works and in truth, we may merit to enter the kingdom of heaven. Grant this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ.